Ten four. Air eleven, standing by for a channel change. You know, I feel really bad for these people right here. They're probably just coming in and uh, assessing the damage right here. Okay. Top of the house is moving. like a whole road, so it could possibly be. What do you think, Brandon? The bike part looked pretty good. A lot of shingle damage, and that always can lead to water inside the house. Right on front, we're on the bay side now. I see a roof gone. That's one of the flat roofs, um, it looks like, and that did not do very well. Uh, again, uh, in fact, flat roofs don't, uh, don't fare sometimes as well because the wind starts to catch some of the shingles and just peels away the roof. People thought, and I thought, that the West End might look a lot like Bolivar. And this shows you the difference between about three feet of storm surge, because Bolivar took about three feet more than the West End, and that's the difference. Not that the homes in Bolivar weren't built well. We're continuing right down Bolivar Peninsula, um, and a few cars buried up to their doors in sand. It's amazing to see pilings, I mean, just nothing there. And then right behind the nothing, there is a house. And it's like, how did that happen? How did how did one or four houses wash away and the houses behind it are still there? That's amazing. These a lot of these houses have actually been turned, if you look at them, just turned on their pilings.